What is up Alone fans? Episode 5 all wrapped up now and we have another week where no one taps out. You know, this is getting really interesting for me because we ended on day 29 with seven competitors still in the running. Uh, we got a look at six of those competitors today. We did get a brief shot of Mark while they were doing uh, Joel's beautiful song montage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, we're at the point now where we should be seeing every contestant or almost every contestant each week. And uh, that's, when, that's when it really starts to crank up for me because, you know, only getting to see someone every second week uh, it's, it's harder to really get to know them and, and really start rooting for them. So uh, let's just go through our contestants and talk about what they're doing and uh, how we think everyone is faring so far. The person I want to start off with today is Callie. Uh, she really went from zero to hero out there this week. You know, she'd been struggling on the shelter front. Um, you know, she, it seems like she's doing a good job of trapping game and now this week really gets a chance to focus on her shelter and all of a sudden has one of the better shelters of the season. Um, she undertook a pretty massive project in building herself a stone fireplace and I think that this is a move that could greatly benefit her as we get into the colder portion of our season. Um, I'm actually a little surprised that we're on day 29 and haven't seen much snow. You know, we saw Amos and his ordeal with the axe, you know, goes, goes out. Um, well, let's just go over everything that happened with Amos. He goes out to check his gill net. The gill net's floating about 10 feet out in the water. Uh, he's doesn't know if he's going to be able to get it back reels it in with another with another tree and then just looked like he just kind of casually bound them together and chucked it back in the water and I was kind of watching thinking you know like didn't that just fail on you like shouldn't you be looking at shoring that up a little bit to make sure that you don't run the risk of losing that gill net and uh, after that Amos goes back, starts chopping up some wood, gathering some wood, and it gets dark out, and his axe is nowhere to be found. Opens his door out, up, and it's snowing out outside. Uh, our first real shot of snow, and Amos has left his axe outside. Um, you know, I wasn't too scared about him losing it in that moment. You know, kind of thinking in my head, really the first snowfall, it's probably going to get back up above freezing the next day or two like he's going to have a real shot of finding that axe again and of course in the morning goes out finds that axe but definitely a scary moment for him and uh something that he's probably going to be a little more aware of as we move on in the season uh, next person i want to talk about is joe joe what is going on with you uh, we're a month in and you have not even a quarter of your shelter done. You're still sleeping under the tarp as we start hitting into these, these freezing temperature nights. Um, I'm starting to get worried. You know, I was worried about Callie and she punched that shelter out in no time, but Joe just seems like he has taken on a very ambitious shelter and he needs to get cracking on that. Um, working in his favor is he caught that monster lake trout. I was, I was thinking he was losing that thing, you know, dragging it in by hand, barbless hook. And in the after interview today, he said that fish, at the shore, that fish came off the hook. Like when he dove down into the water, that fish was not hooked. It was loose. It was just in a fish in the lake reaches out, snags it, and I got to think that's the biggest fish we've seen this season. You know, there's been some nice catches, some big pike, some other decent sized lake trout, but that one, that fish was a monster. So uh, yeah, Joe, you got a, you got a little bit of food here now. 
you got to you got to use that food wisely and get cracking on your shelter before it's too late. Um, next up, uh, let's go to Roland. You know, Roland had a pretty quiet episode. You know, he had a, a, an exciting moment right at the end when he shoots the shoots at the muskox. But one thing I really liked about Roland today was his mentality. You know, he's kind of he's kind of going through things as minimize your risks, maximize your time. He said one thing he said was he was talking about that gill net, placing the gill net and, you know, saying like I keep basically saying I can't afford to lose this. If the water is too rough, the gill net cannot be in the water. And I thought that is a that is a very smart, smart decision for Roland. He has his gill net in a pretty precarious area, and it's it's a it's an issue for him getting in and out. He don't want to be going in in and out of that when the water's rough, and uh, I think that was was some wise decisions by Roland today. Uh, the next thing I really like from Roland is the mentality that I'm I'm taking my bow. I'm not going hunting, but if I see something to hunt, I'm dropping what I'm doing and I'm hunting. You know, he's not going hunting after that bear. You know, we did see that briefly, but that was a moment where he saw the bear, made an attempt to hunt down the bear. And then later on, he's gathering cranberries, sees the musk ox, makes an effort to go hunt down that musk ox. And we end the episode with him firing the shot at the musk ox. Um, I'm just based off the preview, I'm going to guess that... Roland at least hits the muskox. Whether he takes it down or not remains to be seen. Who did I miss? Uh, Joel. Joel, our musical entertainment for the evening. Um, I was a little perplexed by Joel. Like, I definitely entertained by him. But he's what did he do this episode? Make some dice to roll some dice and stay not bored, I guess. And then carves himself a mandolin. Um, yeah, I enjoyed your song, Joel, but, uh, you know, at this point in the game, like, I feel like there's so many things you could be doing to prepare for the cold. Like, making and playing that mandolin, that feels like a winter activity for when you're actually trapped in your shelter, uh, just trying to survive out as long as you can. Like, don't make the mandolin when you have the good weather. Make the mandolin when you have the bad weather. Um, Joel, I love you, but uh, try to keep it on task, on point, a little bit more. Um, Keelan, Keelan's uh, big, uh, big moment today is her chimney. And I just have to say, there was a couple shots of inside her <laughs> shelter, and it is just items everywhere. Like, if somebody is to lose an item, like, it's got to be her, right? But no, who's lost items? Sean and Amos. Um, I also thought that that was pretty ingenious, the way that she tackled making her chimney. You know, she was having the issue, too much smoke in the shelter, smoke's not getting out. And, you know, that's something, like, I would have never, never thought of or been able to do out there get get all that clay work that clay into this into the roof of her shelter and get that smoke headed in the right direction so that was good to see um i gotta say she's probably has to be on the lower end of our shelters uh not not loving hers as much as uh, a few of the other competitors um, but really enjoying her so far this season and i have to say Best haircut anyone's given themselves all season long goes to Keelan so far. Uh, she crushed that haircut and I uh, think that was a probably good decision on her part to not take the hair all the way off, but just put it to a nice manageable length. She still can get some warmth off that hair, but eliminates a few of the problems that may have come along with it. Um, I think that is everybody for... Tonight, I don't think I missed everybody. Roland, Joe, Amos, Keelan, Callie. Who did I miss? There's someone, there's a six. Joel, Joel, yeah, we covered everybody. And uh, yeah, 
crazy. We're 30, we're 29 days in. We still have seven competitors remaining. And I'm starting to think that maybe more than one person is going to make it to that 100 days. Uh, you know, we're also running that possibility that once winter hits, we're going to start see, seeing contestants drop like flies. But I'm, I'm feeling that multiple people making 100 days. And I, I would love to see that because we have some great contestants on this season. And I'm loving what they're doing. And I want to see a bunch of them make it super far. Um, that's going to wrap up this week. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again next week.